بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی ویلکم یو آل ان این ایم آر اسپیکٹروسکوپی ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از پاسکل ٹرائی اینگل ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ دا اسپن اسپن اسپلٹنگ سو ان اسپن اسپن اسپلٹنگ وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ان اینی این ایم آر اسپیکٹم آف آرگینک کمپاؤنڈ وین وی ہیو سپوز ان پروٹون این ایم آر اسپیکٹم آف اتھائل so the uh, methane hydrogen they sense the hydrogen present on adjacent carbon so uh, the absorption signal for methane hydrogen uh, it is actually separated into uh, four uh, lines so these four lines uh, i mean uh, it gives us a quartet so what is the intensity of these four lines it can be determined by pascal triangle so uh, today we will discuss uh, when a signal for uh, a proton is separated into two lines or three lines or four lines or five lines i mean doublet or triplet or quartet or pentet or uh, sextet or septet then uh, what is the intensity of each line it can be determined by uh, pascal triangle so let's start with the pascal triangle we know that uh, in any organic compound suppose here we have hydrogen and these are two uh, hydrogens so we uh, select chloro or bromo just uh, because these two hydrogen after introducing these uh, different hydrogens they are uh, different so in this case the nmr spectrum it actually contains two absorption signal one signal for this ha proton and the other for hb proton so uh, uh, in uh, my previous uh, lecture we have discussed the spin spin splitting i mean uh, we have here only two lines for these two uh, protons but these two absorption signal they are separated based upon the presence of number of equivalent hydrogen at uh, adjacent carbon in this case we have one hydrogen so according to n plus 1 rule this hydrogen it gives us a doublet same same uh, is the situation for this hydrogen for hb again we have one uh, hydrogen which is present at adjacent carbon and according to n plus 1 rule it also gives us a doublet so these two absorption signals they are actually separated into two lines instead of one line so uh, this is uh, some uh, third type of inform information which is present in uh, nmr uh, spectrum and what is the intensity of these two lines uh, it can be uh, verified or determined by this uh, pascal triangle pascal triangle actually uh, it is a mathematical mnemonics which helps us to determine the intensity of these uh, lines so let's uh, discuss Uh, for the intensity of two lines and then three lines and then four lines so singlet doublet triplet quartet these uh, their shape or their intensity uh, of these lines it, uh, they can be determined by pascal triangle suppose we have this one this is for singlet and here we have this is for doublet and here we have this is for triplet so it means in any organic compound if you have singlet this is for singlet it is for doublet suppose uh, here we have ha then a uh, signal for this ha it is separated into two lines mean doublet then intensity of these two line is almost same so same is the case with this hb again we have another doublet so in this case intensity of these two lines remains 
सेम सो बट इन केस वेर वी हैव अ ट्रिपलेट सो दिस सिग्नल इज फॉर ट्रिपलेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इन विच दिस हाइड्रोजन इट इज अटैच विथ इट इज अटैच विथ वी हैव एनी हेलोजन सो लेट्स एक्सप्लेन द सिग्नल फॉर दिस हाइड्रोजन सो दिस हाइड्रोजन इन इट्स वेसिनिटी वी हैव टू हाइड्रोजन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू एन प्लस वन रूल इट विल गिव अस अ ट्रिपलेट सो द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दीज थ्री लाइन्स इन ट्रिपलेट इट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम दिस पासकल ट्राई एंगल सो दीज टू लाइन्स दे हैव वन वन रेशो बट द सेंट्रल लाइन इट हैज द इंटेंसिटी इज डबल एज कंपेयर टू द टर्मिनल लाइन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ट्रिपलेट फॉर दिस हाइड्रोजन लुक्स लाइक लाइक दैट ओके सो दिस इज ट्रिपलेट दिस ट्रिपलेट बिकॉज हेर वी हैव द सेंट्रल लाइन इट हैज डबल इंटेंसिटी एज कंपेयर टू this uh, the terminal line so from from pascal triangle this double line it uh, this two it is it comes from uh, suppose we have uh, this one and two uh, these two when they are added it will gives us uh, this uh, two because number one and uh, this one when they two are added it will gives us two so it means any central or new number which is uh, written after uh, uh, second or third or fourth row it it is derived from uh, the above uh, two numbers which are present on uh, right and uh, left on uh, this uh, number so suppose we have uh, this hydrogen and this hydrogen it uh, uh, show spin spin splitting with this methylene then we have these two lines okay and we have another uh, hydrogen so when we have an other hydrogen if you join this like that then we have so it means this this signal is for triplet in case of triplet when uh, this is suppose this is h a this signal is for h a so uh, this this central line it comes from joining uh, these two lines so it means intensity of this central line it is different as compared to intensity of these two terminal lines so these two terminal lines they are only one and here we have two lines they are joined so that's why its intensity is double as compared to the terminal line so that's why the triple had uh, this type of ratio and if we have quartet then we have 1 here we have 1 plus 2 3 and 2 plus 1 again 3 and 1 so this is for quartet suppose here we have another molecule in which we have carbon hydrogen and ch3 is present suppose here we have bromine or bromine so this hydrogen in its vicinity we have three uh, hydrogen so according to n plus 1 rule this hydrogen it will gives us quartet so what is the uh, intensity of these four lines when this hydrogen it show spin spin splitting with these uh, three hydrogen then intensity is the terminal lines they have one one but the central line they have three uh, lines because here we have three lines are joined uh, uh, suppose we have the the quad the shape of quartet is like that these terminal lines they have one one suppose ratio and here we have three three uh, uh, intensity of these these line is almost three so this quartet here we have 1 3 3 1 
suppose we have this hydrogen H A. This is signal for H A. So, uh, it, in its vicinity, three hydrogens are present. So, one, one, and then other hydrogen, second, again. Okay. So, uh, when you uh, uh, calculate the intensity of these uh, lines which are uh, for quarter, this is 1, this is also 1 and here we have 2 plus 1, this is 3, again we have 2 plus 1, 3. So, the ratio is 1, 3, 3, 1. So, uh, it can also be calculated from this uh, situation because this 3, it comes from 2 plus 1, 3, again 2 plus 1, 3 and here we have the one. So, the intensity of a quartet in which this hydrogen it shows spin spin splitting with methyl hydrogen the intensity is 1 3 3 1 and uh, for the quintet. So, this is for quartet for quintet or pentet here we have 1 then 3 plus 1, 4, again 3 plus 3, 6, then 3 plus 1, 4, and here we have 1. So, this intensity is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Suppose if we have a hydrogen which shows spin spin splitting with 4 hydrogen, then uh, the quintet, the 5 lines. Suppose we have carbon, hydrogen, we have Cl, CH2, CH2, if we have any uh, functional group like OCH3 or OCH3. So, this hydrogen it shows spin spin splitting with these four hydrogen. So, that is why this hydrogen it shows the five lines quintet. So, these five lines it looks like So, the center line it has a uh, greater intensity as compared to the uh, terminal line and as compared to these two lines. So, uh, it also comes from this uh, situation. For example, if I uh, show this splitting in uh, this uh, case, this is H A. So, suppose this is H A and it shows spin spin splitting with these two hydrogen first, one hydrogen. and then second hydrogen ok. So, it means this center line it has double intensity as compared to the terminal lines. Then again two hydrogens so these two lines they are uh, combined by this one and this one and this one and this one. Uh, okay. So, uh, this one hydrogen separate with one and then two and then three and fourth hydrogen for five lines. So, it means intensity of this line is one this is also 1 and this line it is 4, this central line has higher intensity because 3, 3 when they combine it gives us 6 and this is also 4. So, this is the intensity for uh, quintet and same can be calculated for uh, when hydrogen it shows spin spin splitting with uh, 6 hydrogen uh, or with uh, 5 hydrogen suppose uh, in case when we have sextet then uh, we have 1 and here we have 4 plus 1 5, 4 plus 6 10, 6 plus 4 10, 4 plus 1 5 and 1. Okay? 
so uh, these are six lines and we have the intensity of central two lines is same and the terminal two line it has one one uh, intensity so what about what about the septet so in case of septet then we have one and uh, one plus five six five plus ten uh, fifteen ten plus ten twenty ten plus five fifteen and five plus one six and here we have one so this is the case for uh, septet these septet lines uh, this uh, septet signal the central line has highest intensity as compared to the terminal line this is the reason in case of any uh, uh, proton uh, proton and mass spectrum of any compound in which one hydrogen it shows spin spin splitting with six hydrogen then the intensity of this terminal line is so very small for example if we have the situation carbon hydrogen ch3 ch3 br so this hydrogen it shows spin spin splitting with these six hydrogen so that's why the signal is septet so this septet it looks like uh, like this one so these two terminal lines the intensity of these two terminal line is very small as compared to this one because this ratio is suppose 20 and it is 1 so uh, this is for septet some sometimes uh, in proton and mass spectrum of any organic compound uh, in which one of the hydrogen shows spin spin splitting with six hydrogen then uh, it it looks like uh, just like it is uh, pen, uh, pented or quintet instead of uh, septet and this is because the intensity of terminal line is very small for example in my previous lecture i, I have discussed the nmr proton and mass spectrum of this ibuprofen so this hydrogen suppose it shows uh, spin spin splitting with these six hydrogen and these two so this uh, uh, multiplied is very small so uh, just uh, uh, i uh, show here uh, this uh, hydrogen and it shows spin spin splitting with six hydrogen it show the septet and with these two hydrogen it show the uh, triplet so multiplied it looks like uh, this is quintet or uh, so, uh, sometime uh, five lines so this is because the intensity of the terminal line uh, it is very uh, smaller as compared to the uh, this uh, central lines because this central uh, line it, uh, it has highest intensity uh, 20 so it means uh, by following this uh, pascal diagram or pascal triangle this is known as pascal uh, triangle uh, it helps us to calculate the intensity of the uh, uh, lines uh, which uh, of a uh, doublet or triplet or quartet or uh, quintet any uh, multiplet signal uh, we can calculate the intensity of the uh, terminal lines by following this uh, pascal triangle and then uh, we have uh, a clear idea of the shape of the lines or the uh, intensity of the lines which has double intensity or higher intensity or when we have 1 to 20 ratio so sometimes you have a uh, proton and mass spectrum of an uh, organic compound in which one hydrogen it show uh, splitting with six hydrogen so in this case sometimes uh, people ask question that uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, quintet instead of uh, septet then uh, your answer should be because the ratio of central line is uh, uh, intensity of central line is uh, higher this is because uh, the terminal line it is very uh, small just look like it is the baseline of the uh, proton and a mass spectrum so that's why uh, you can uh, uh, justify your signal uh, by uh, comparing the uh, 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 proton signal of the other uh, hydrogen instead of uh, this uh, uh, septet or uh, quintet so this is all about the pascal triangle which helps us to calculate the intensity of the uh, lines for doublet, triplet, quartet or uh, uh, quintet or septet. In my upcoming lecture, I will discuss uh, how we can uh, calculate the coupling constant. Thank you very much.